welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamila Varnae, and if you are new here, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're not new here, make sure you like and subscribe also. So, um, we're just going to get started because I already know I look crazy. So today we're going to do, I don't even know what kind of look we're going for, but I just know it's going to be bomb. And I already did my eyebrows, and I know you guys see the tape. Because I'm ready to get into this. If you're ready to get into this. I got my handy dandy little mirror. Because I don't have one that you just put on the desk yet. But I will be getting one soon. So. It's going to be a surprise for me. Just like it is for you. So we're just going to get into it. I got all my stuff. My little handy little tape over here. Let's see. So my favorite color is purple. So I guess we're going to do something with purple in it. All my queens who love purple. All right, so we're gonna go in with this grape color. Just going to use this little blending brush. Well, it's not a blending brush. It looks more like a, I don't even know, but you guys see the shape of it. This is what I'm just gonna use. I'm just gonna use that to pack on this purple. Just in my crease. And my outer corner, just like this. B palette we're gonna use I'm gonna use this one see that so like a light pink color we're just gonna blend the top of this purple color out with it actually we might mix it with the bottom one as well to make it pop just a little bit yeah, there we go. I need these. I need to see what I'm doing. All right. So y'all can still see me. Y'all can see me. Y'all can see me. Now I'm just going to take a blending brush and then just use it to try to blend these colors together to get rid of harsh lines and we're just in between both the colors just trying to make them, you see, just trying to get rid of the harsh line. And if y'all my webcam, don't be helping me out at all. Don't be helping me out at all. I can't be like this. You either got it or you don't. And yeah, most of I don't got it. It's okay. This look kind of cute. Like I can just wear this. My hot girl summer look, y'all. My hot girl summer look. No, sis, we got we have to finish. All right, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend with an even lighter pink. And we're gonna use the same brush that we use to blend the, the dark pink. So let me go ahead and show y'all what I'm about to use. All right, so this little this peachy color here, y'all can see it, can y'all see it, can you see it? So this one right here, it's a peachy color, like I said, my little can don't be doing me justice, but it's all right. We're going to get us some of this. We're going to get us another one. So we're just going to blend right over top of 
the pink shade so right under the brow bone all right so after we do that we're going to cut the crease with concealer and i have to get my i just had it for y'all who don't know those y'all who don't know i lose stuff pretty frequently and it'd be like right in front of me all right found it so i'm going to use this to cut my crease and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pearl Concealer in the color Cool Tan. This is just my regular concealer. And I put it on my hand first because I like to do my moderations. So we're going to go back because cutting your crease is really crucial because you don't want it to look too crazy. And we're going to go like half. Well, a little bit more than half. We're just going to leave out the outer corner of the eye. So, let's go. about right there is where we want to cut that crease is all right so i'm gonna do the other one probably not gonna be able to see it because it's on the other side but we're gonna try now let's tap it on the lid first so when i look up show me where i need to go all right and then we're just gonna let this dry because I don't want to blend it out because then it's going to fade and by I mean fade like it's gonna because there's nothing but eyeshadow under here and I don't want it to smudge the purple and it look like a, a light purple eyeshadow I'm gonna keep it like this and we're just gonna sit and let it like do its thing I'm gonna take some bomb pics for y'all okay Put up on all my social media so make sure you follow me on instagram facebook twitter all of that because i'm gonna post them for you and you're gonna be like sis you should have did a pictorial i'm gonna do one of those too but just not on this look it has been so hot like it has been so hot so hot it makes me not want to go outside it makes me not want to do nothing i don't even want to go get go to grocery shopping like that's how hot it's been what we're going to do next is same beet purple we're using again and we're just gonna tap that in to basically fade it so the crease that so it doesn't look too so sharp we're just gonna fade that in so yeah you guys see how it looks it doesn't look so sharp at the edges like we just cut it, like y'all yeah, get what I'm get what I'm putting out. You get what I'm saying? You see how this one right here? It just looks like straight line compared to this one looks a little faded, 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 faded. All right, we just gonna do the same thing to the left side, and I just tapped off some excess because we don't want to be too deep. We just wanted to just to fade it. I'm gonna use this one and it's like a little angle brush and I'm just going to take that I didn't even show you the pink that I use all right so I'm gonna take this little neon pink right here and I'm just going to brush it on my outer corner not brush it but pack it y'all I'm sorry I gotta use the mirror so Just like that. You know, it's really hard to talk during makeup tutorials. It's like trying to talk when you're doing your lashes. Should have got some lashes. It's like, it's okay, because this look going to be bomb anyway. But yeah, I should have. It's like, it's like trying to do your lashes and talk at the same time. 
right now I'm going to use the same blending brush we used to blend the crease and that pink uh, color together to blend these two and then we're going to go about our business. Y'all can see it? Yeah. Just blending the two together so they don't look crazy. We got it. We got it. All right, so now I'm going to go in with that coral color, the little pink peach coral color that we used before. Yeah, that one right there. We're just going to use that one. And I'm going to just, I'm going to use the brush that I was going to use in the beginning. This one right here. I'm just going to put that all over my, the rest of my eye. I probably mix with this little unicorn color. So, y'all can't really see it, but it's this color and then this little shimmery unicorn color. So, we're just going to do that. And look at this look. Like, it looks so. And I'm just blending the pink with that little coral color so it won't look so harsh. And then, yeah, it's too hot for full face, y'all. And I gotta go outside. I'm just gonna do my eyes. All right, we're gonna do the pink from the, and I didn't even tell y'all what the palette was. I'm gonna link everything in the description below. Uh, I know most of it you can get off of Amazon. So this is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. I have like two of her palettes. Most, I don't uh, you do makeup too much, so I still, have a lot of palettes from like way back in the beginning. I just haven't ventured out. Like I just buy the same palettes because I feel like what works for me works for me. But I should start venturing out and I will because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch more makeup looks for you guys. So I'm going to take or should I leave this on and do the liner first? I'm going to do the liner first. Sorry, you guys. Getting you guys worked up. All right. So this is just some wet and wild liner, and it just has a little stamp brush. Like I don't even—that's not even a brush. I don't even know what to call it. So what I usually do is I go in the uh, like the inner corner of my eye first, and I bring it out, and then I draw all the line and how like long I want to be. Yeah, like, I don't understand how much I'm feeling myself. It's like, 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 like what? Like who? Who is? Who are you, sis? Like I don't know who this is. This is Renee. That's what that is. It's Renee. Jamila is not here anymore. No, I'm just playing. But all right. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to take my jumbo eye pencil it's the nyx milk i also use this as a base for my eyeshadow because you always use concealer that like light concealer to make your eyes pop and i use light concealer along with this milk because it's white so to make the color pop i'm just going to do this off camera because i don't want to be all in the camera I don't want to be all on the camera doing this. So I'm just going to do this off camera. Alright, so I'm back. And that's how it look. And now we're going to just smoke it out with that pink color that we had. It's right here. That looks so cute. So we're going to smoke it out with a pink color. And this is from the Masquerade, the mini from Juvia's Place. Oh, I forgot to tap off. Tap off some of the excess because I don't want to get in the eye. And so we just gonna add that bad boy. So that's the look. And now, my favorite part of this channel is the Jamila Gem. So today, 
I'm just going to talk about taking care of yourself. I know I talked about self-care in like my first or second video, but this is about when you're in your bag, like when you're in your bag. When you're trying to find your niche, trying to find your fitting, trying to find what you're really good at, you might need to isolate yourself. And that is okay. If people love you, then they'll be there after you're finished and you find yourself. And if they're not, then they just weren't meant for you. So that being said, you always make sure like is you first. Like people say you're supposed to enjoy your 20s and all. Yeah, that's cool. But after your twenty, after you hit like tw once you hit like 25, 26, your 20s go like that. I'm I'm not 25, 26. I'm only 21. But I've learned from the experience of others. You're supposed to grind hard now. That's my motto. Like every time I'm going through something, or I'd be, I'd be like, forget this job. Like I'd be like, I'm about to quit. Be like you got to grind hard now, so that way you can retire and you can like live your best life later. Because you're gonna always be able to go on trips. You're gonna always be able to do what you want to do. But you're only able-bodied for so long. And when I say able-bodied, like I mean physically, mentally emotionally like as your body gets older it starts to deteriorate like your body gets sick as you get older and so when you get older and you're trying to like work hard and all that stuff you could have been chilling when you worked hard and like work hard now like now now is the time to grind to get it to go after it because you have ambition now but as you get older, life gets to you and it just starts hitting you left and right. And a lot of people can't handle that. So when you get old, as you get older, like just think about that. Thank you guys for watching yet another luxurious channel. Make sure you subscribe and like so I can put out more content for you guys. Because I really, this is like my outlet and I don't mind talking to you guys, showing you guys what you want to know and teach you guys how to do new things. Because sometimes I don't be knowing what to do. And I just be winging it. It's okay to wing it. So, um, yeah. You guys have a great one. And see you next Friday.